Hi friends. Now let us the cyclic properties of a circle. What is a cyclic quadrilateral? Suppose ABCD is a quadrilateral. A circle passes through the vertices of this quadrilateral. Then ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. We can say it as a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle is a cyclic quadrilateral. That means a circle can pass through the vertices of the quadrilateral. In a cyclic quadrilateral, we get four angles. Angle A and angle C are opposite angles. Angle B and angle D are opposite angles. Your first property here is the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Otherwise we can say the sum of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. Let me explain you how. P, Q, R, S is a cyclic quadrilateral. O is the center of a circle. Let me join O, P, O, R. You have already learned that the angle in the center of the circle is twice the angle that it subtends at the circumference of the circle. That means angle P O R is equal to twice of angle P S R. Same way, reflex angle P O R is a twice of angle P Q R. Reflex angle P O R is equal to twice of angle PQR. Let it be equation 1. This one equation 2. When we add these two equations, we get angle POR plus reflex angle POR. When we add these two, we get 360 degree angle. This plus this is 360 degree angle is equal to twice of, when we add these two, we get twice of angle PSR and angle PQR. I have taken two common. And if you bring this to this side, you will have angle PSR plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. That way this plus this is equal to 180 degree. So by this we can say that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary or some of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. If we know that sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. If sum of these two is 180, automatically sum of other two angles will be equal to 180 degree. Your second property is just converse of this. If the sum of opposite angles, either pair of opposite angles is 180 degree, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. Then the quadrilateral is cyclic. A, B, C, D. If angle A plus angle C 
is equal to 180 degree, we can say that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Just to converse of the previous theorem of property. Your third property is We know that when a side of a quadrilateral is produced, an exterior angle is formed. Let me name it as A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. When A, B is produced to E, we get angle C, B, E, the exterior angle. An exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the or equal to its interior opposite angle interior opposite angle that means if this is exterior angle interior of all these are interior angles but angle D is interior opposite angle for this exterior angle these two are equal let me explain you how. Suppose angle C, B, E is X. What is the measure of angle A, B, C? 180 minus X or not? We know that angle A, B, C plus angle C, B, E is 180 degree because they form a linear pair. And also we have learned in the previous property of theorem that angle A, D, C plus angle A, B, C is 180 degree. If this is 180 minus x, sum of these two is 180. So 180 minus this is x. So this is equal to this. So the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is always equal to its interior opposite angle. And your fourth property is just converse to this. If this, let me name it as P, Q, R, S, T. If the exterior angle of the cyclic quadrilateral is equal to its interior angle, if these two are equal, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. If angle S, R, T, that is the exterior angle of this cyclic of the quadrilateral, is equal to angle Q, P, S, Interior opposite angle, then PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. In this regard, let me explain you clearly. We don't know whether this is cyclic or not, we don't know. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Let me produce A, B to E. If angle C, B, E equal to angle A, D, C, then A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. That means a circle can pass through this. So with this, we have come to the end of cyclic properties of the circle. So what we have learnt? The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Second property is, if the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. Then other one, if the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is always equal to its interior opposite angle. If the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle of a quadrilateral, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. Understood? Thank you.